Hello everybody in YouTube land. Uh, Mick Mayer here has, um, hasn't really been that long since my last video but I just wanted to do a quick kind of little catch up kind of thing um, and just kind of say what's been going on with me for the last little while besides losing my hair by the looks of it. Um, and uh, why I haven't been doing videos and blah 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 and um, just a kind of little catch up. So, uh, first off, uh, what's been happening with me, I uh, was out of work at the start of this year. Um, my contract came to an end at the place I was working. I've been lucky enough to have a, a, a kind of a contract job in between, and I started a new job this week um, with um, one of the, the main banks here in Ireland. So, uh, very happy with that, and um, let's, let's see how things go. Um, first week nearly down, so... Uh, Fingers crossed, wish me luck guys, um, because uh, I really, really hope that this one works out. Um, so that's that, on a, a personal level there's been a couple of things happening at home uh, with family members and things like that um, that I'm not going to go into because they're kind of personal, um, but uh, you know, suffice to say that, um, what, you know, uh, uh, there's, it's, it's been a, a fairly hectic draining um, couple of months and uh, year really and um, uh, it, it just looks set to continue and uh, we're just going to have to have to get on with it and, and see how we go um, but uh, anyway on a lighter note um, just to kind of get on to a couple of other bits and pieces bring you up to speed with some some kind of upcoming stuff hopefully I'm going to have time to put together some some reviews I did put a review up of uh, one of my latest purchases, and um, but Windows Movie Maker is just acting the bollocks with me. Um, every time I upload a video into Movie Maker, it all looks fine, and then I go to publish it, and when I go to publish it, half the screen turns green, and it's just useless. Um, so if anybody out there knows how to uh, how to solve that, I would be very glad and very grateful for. Any hips, hints, and tips that you uh, that that you can use or you can give me, um, because I, I like to think of myself as a little bit techy, but this is just beyond me and it's very very frustrating. So I'm actually doing this on a kind of a quick capture upload jobby. Now, um, on to something else. On to a couple of purchases that I that I made. Hang on one second. So couple of purchases. Uh, this isn't an unboxing or anything like that, but it's just to kind of let you know what I've got and uh, what I think kind of so far and, and stuff. Okay, so first up is this fella. Uh, we're getting a lot of light shine there. Hopefully you'll be able to make this out. Um, I'm calling this G2 Laser Prime or Classics Laser Prime if you like. It's Optimus Prime, Deluxe Class, Reveal the Shield, um, Generations, Wave 2, whatever blah 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 uh, he looks good I've seen a really good review of him by MGO and if you like it if you like Transformers you should check out MGO stuff uh, funny guy good reviewer check him out uh, this guy's good I'm looking forward to getting him out of the box might do my own review on him as well okay that's the first one second one uh, and this one finally uh, you know we seem to be getting a couple of toys that are actually going to do justice to the characters um, and this guy um, he was uh, he was kind of a favourite of mine from season three, um, you know, and from the movie. Reveal the shield, Ratgar, um, very very good, very nice. Just looks fantastic from the artwork here. So looking forward to seeing how that goes. Um, when uh, when we get this fella out of the box, uh, we might try and do a review of him as well. Show you the back of the box. Uh, there we go. All looks really good, like the uh, like the axes, all the rest of it. Um, and I'm really glad that they didn't go down the kind of movie line crap of uh, you know giving this guy some kind of one wheel kickstand kind of leg thing. They actually went and, and did a proper job of it. So looking forward to this guy as well, big time. That's that. Last but not least in the reveal the shield uh, line, we got this guy. Perceptor, um, and I've seen some good reviews of this guy as well. Really looking forward to it. Um, bit of controversy, you know, he's not a microscope. Personally, 
wouldn't have minded seeing a microscope, but you know I can live with it because uh, the uh, the alt mode just looks really really good. And in fairness, they have been very very true to the uh, to the character based on the artwork. So looks good. Looking forward to getting this guy out. Got all of these on a deal in Smiths, um, eleven euro ninety nine each. Um, just checking, you know, people think, uh, well, let, let me know if that uh, if, if that's expensive in, in your neck of the woods where, where you are. Uh, I think that would come to about $17, something like that, um, about £10 sterling, give or take. Not a currency expert, so, you know, hopefully, um, just curious to see what people are paying. That's that. Now, moving away from Transformers just for one second, um, for those of you who saw my very short-lived Robotech review, which I'm hoping to kind of get done properly and, and put back up, because let's face it, it was shite. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm really hoping to, to, to do justice to, uh, to, to, to that one. But that's, that's on we go. So my, uh, my Robotech collection is kind of moving on, is gaining a bit of... Uh, bit of pace and uh, some of them I like, uh, you know, some of them I'm a little bit let down with, I have to be honest with you. Uh, this guy's the one I'm a little bit conflicted about, you know, so uh, let's let's just show you who it is. This is the 148 scale Vermilion 1 uh, VF1J Valkyrie. Uh, this guy's about masterpiece size, give or take, a little bit smaller. Um, and he's just so detailed and, and all the rest of it and uh, it's just fantastic and uh, you can actually circumcise him. There you go. Uh, all the jokes. There you go. Anyway, uh, no offence anyway. There you go. He's, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's really, really nice. Displays really, really well. Uh, there is armour for him. I'm weighing up. Whether or not to get the armor, I don't know. Um, I've seen Wizard Star's um, uh, review of him and his armor, and he's saying, mm, you know, a little bit of work in the decal. For those of you that, that are into Robotech and looking at kind of investing in a few of these, the Yamato stuff looks fantastic. I mean, let's just check this guy out in a little bit more detail. He looks absolutely brilliant. But Jesus Christ, um, there's so much work in the decals, so you've really got to be dedicated. I personally, I haven't put any of the stickers on this guy because I just couldn't be arsed. I just play him in uh, in robot mode, and you know, he looks good to me. Little crib on him is that the uh, you know the plastic is a, a little bit in places, it's a little bit flimsy, uh, but you know, it, other than that, really really happy with him. Displays really well. That's that. Moving on, um, so this is a, a this is one uh, that the the third company the third party guys are kind of getting a little bit of um, are are really taking over in Transformers as far as I'm concerned. That's where the real quality work is being done because Hasbro are going they're going to we all know that they're going to scrap reveal the shield in a couple of weeks or in a couple of months and then we're going to be left with aisle upon aisle of unsold movie crap. Uh, I mean, let's face it, movie stuff is just shite. Um, I own one movie toy. I own one movie toy. Hang on, I'll get him. One movie toy. Here it is. The original uh, Transformers movie, uh, Optimus Prime. I'm going to be hawking this guy on eBay because, you know... Mm. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so as I was saying, third parties. Um, so third party stuff. Um, I a little bit controversial here, but I'm really liking the crazy Devi stuff. I'm really, really liking the crazy Devi stuff. So I have two little examples of crazy Devi stuff that I'm going to show you. Crazy Devi. Crazy Devi stuff. Okay, number one is this fella. And this is just, this is just fantastic. This is just awesome. Uh, this is the uh, Crazy Devi Devastator with all the bells and whistles on him. You know, you've got waist articulation. You've got everything on this guy. You've got a little, you got a little light LED. I say a little, that's pretty powerful. Okay. Oh, really, really good. I'm really, really liking that. 
Uh, just give you a quick kind of side by side. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. There is what Devastator used to look like. And I'll get my hand out of the way so you can see them, which would be a pretty good idea, wouldn't it? There we go. There's the size comparisons and the just kind of the, the, the look there. You know, you got to say every time, every time. Much more movie accurate. Displays really well with the Dynamots as well, actually. So that's a, a kind of an added bonus for uh, for those of us that are really big Devastator and Dinobot fans. Um, one other crazy Debbie, just very quick. <clears throat> Superion. Uh, I didn't get the head, but uh, what I did get was the chest plate, which, as you can see, adds a nice bit of bulk around the shoulders to. Uh, to um to superior so really liking that one thing that i do the only fault is or well the, you buy the pack so you get the chest plate you get a little uh, little mouth guard i don't know if you can see it there uh, hopefully my camera will pick that out um but here's the gun and the gun's just too fucking big it's just too big pardon my friend sorry it's just too big uh here he is holding the gun okay Mine is an original G1, so he won't stand. He just won't stand, uh, you know, holding it in any kind of poses or anything like that. It's a little big. Uh, I think Crazy Debbie are kind of compensating for something, maybe. Anyway, that's that. Um, so, uh, that's kind of mostly it. And I'm back. Uh, that's kind of mostly it. Um, the other thing that I'd just like to, to kind of put out there is that I have just bought uh, my AA 2011 uh, tickets. I've booked my flights. I've booked my hotel room. So I'm looking forward to seeing everybody there. Um, there's the, too many people to mention by name. So, uh, you know, if I, if I say some, I'm going to leave some out and, and blah, 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 blah. And, don't want to get into any of that kind of stuff, uh, but needless to say, the people who know me at, at AA, really looking forward to seeing you, uh, hopefully we're going to have as good a time as, as, uh, as we've had in the last while. Uh, those of you uh, who are looking, at, uh, are looking at, at this video and don't go to AA, uh, that's Auto Assembly in Birmingham, uh, check out the Auto Assembly uh, website, um, should be here, there, somewhere, um, and uh, it's a really good site. If you're into Transformers, you're going to love it. If you're into just having a few pints and a bit of crack with some like-minded people, you're going to love it. Um, so, uh, yeah, should all be good. And uh, looking forward to seeing everybody. Um, that's about it. Um, wish you all well. Um, hope you're all keeping well wherever you are in the world. If you celebrate Easter, I'm going to wish you a happy Easter. If you don't, you should or you shouldn't or whatever you're going to think. Either way, I'm looking forward to having a nice few pints this week because um, it's going to be a short week here in Ireland. Uh, banks don't open on Friday. Unfortunately, the pubs don't either, but, you know, raising means off license. And uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, so wish you all well. Hopefully I'm going to get some time to do some proper reviews when I can get Movie Maker sorted out. And uh, that's it. See you guys. Bye.